So here we are in Plymouth. Finally, two and a half years since the last time we went over to France to see the house. Yeah, a little bit apprehensive. First time we've traveled since then. You happy about it? Yeah. There we go. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah, soon be on the boat on the Amerique. Obviously, Brittany Ferries arriving at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. And then, uh, yeah, short drive down to the house and we'll see what, see what we have. So here we are, after two and a half years, this is the garden, somewhere, was the garden, was the garden. Uh, yeah there's the house, we're trying to make our way through the nettles and brambles, there's the caravan, which um, yeah, really want to think of what state that's in. Back down there again. Unbelievable. Okay, give us a cue nearly. I've only got that bit to go.
Well, I don't know what we expected really, but um, yeah, it's quite bad everywhere. Uh, plan is just made a little pass with the strimmer. You've got to be careful, it's Sunday. Uh, made a bit of a pass with the strimmer and we will... Um, wow. Try and get the mower running just off to try and turn the water on. It's about 25 degrees, so a little bit of a shock. What we left home to. Out on the road. All looking lovely in that direction. <laughs> Church in the distance. Well, I've turned the water on and the meter's whizzing around like a lunatic, so let's uh, have a quick cam. Um, are jerking us through the jungle. There we go. Because the tap's on.
So, there we go. First day or afternoon. We didn't arrive until oh, half past one, two o'clock, something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's been a busy afternoon. Got the mower started, which is good. Um, yeah, I'll take you for a quick tour around the garden as it is at the moment. This is the entranceway. A very kind neighbour does mow the entranceway for us, but he does say it's a little bit much to do all of it, which is fair enough. As we can see, it's all getting a little bit mad. Um, yeah, not sure we'll tackle that while we're here this time for a few days, but we have managed to clear all this afternoon which is uh, pretty good going I think not bad really seeing as this was uh, a good five foot tall earlier today yeah also been about 27 degrees which makes it really difficult when you've just come from 15 degrees sun beating down all day but um, yeah caravan's looking a little bit sorry for itself but hopefully by the end of this year we might be able to stay in the house with any luck. Then going down the bottom of the garden. Yeah, I guess this is one of the big problems of having a chateau, sorry, demi chateau, tiny chateau, small cottage. Um, in France with a fairly large garden. Uh, we haven't spoken about any kind of budgets or anything for this project but um, yeah it's pretty much zero. Uh, we, we send money across as and when we can. We certainly can't afford to pay a gardener to come and mow the lawn for us every, every month so we just have to hope that with Covid two and a half years but it's okay it's good we made progress right. tomorrow if i'm feeling daring i might take you for a little uh, tour around the house which is also looking sorry for itself but we'll get there one day so two days we've been here um been really really warm which we're not used to uh, so yeah we're absolutely beat we're having the rest of the afternoon off we're gonna go and get ice cream in Jocelyn uh, so yeah just take you for one last tour around really um, show you what we've managed to accomplish in a couple of days really really pleased with uh, with everything that we've done um, yeah been hard work but we're getting there. Um, might leave the house tour until the next video, to be honest. But so uh, yeah, so I'll just take you for a walk around the garden. Now we've managed to clear some of it. Yeah, looking a little bit different now. Managed to clear quite a lot in this side. Um, this is some wood from yeah, when we first got here four years ago. So that's something that needs moving. Um, let's see. We've just literally just used the mulching deck on the on the mower um, and just left it on the ground. Also managed to uh, find the old trailer tent and the old trailer 
for the first time we ever came over before we had a caravan. Our boundary marker is uh, just over there in the middle of the hedge. Small white marker. Um, yeah, not seen that for a long time. And then we've got a weird shape, and then the rest of it is along where these nettles are here, which is a small mound that we're slowly but surely building which is the floor from inside the house, the earth floor, which we will one day, we'll all be out here. If you just about see a fence post just down there, that is the other boundary marker. This, uh, this was all completely overgrown the first time we come with brambles. Um, managed to retrieve it back. Uh, pear trees, which are quite nice. We've got an almond somewhere as well. Um, the joys that is the caravan. Run down towards the house. needs a lot of work. We started upstairs and we started digging out downstairs as well. Um, I will put some pictures up of how it used to look. But the front, which again was six foot high with nettles yesterday, was cut down and that's it. That's a tour around. I have to say, anybody's thinking of buying a ride on lawnmower then go and get yourself a second hand Countax C600 because uh, yeah that thing performs a miracle around here and it just keeps on going and I said when it finally goes I'm gonna have it on a plinth somewhere but yeah thank you for watching if nobody's watching, then never mind. <laughs> Doesn't really matter to us. We just thought we'd share our little piece of France. Um, bear in mind, we have no idea how to film anything or what we're doing. So, there we go.